Hi, I'm Angie Westling. I am the chair elect on the board of the Thiever Falls Chamber of Commerce. Um, we're just here today. I'm here with um, Visit Thief River, Thief River Falls Chamber of Commerce, and Advanced Thief River. Uh, and we are just here today to talk about what they do in our community. Um, so, what is the mission of your organization, Amanda? You want to go first? Uh, well, I'll introduce myself. I am Amanda Hughes, the executive director of Visit Thief River Falls. And Visit Thief River Falls is Thief River's uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau. So, the mission of my organization is. The objective of the Thief River Falls Convention and Visitors Bureau shall be to promote the Thief River Falls area as a destination for conferences, conventions, events, group tours, and leisure travelers, thereby enhancing the economic growth of the area. My name is Vanessa Van Dam. I'm the Executive Director for the Thief River Falls Chamber of Commerce. Our mission is that we believe that Thief River Falls is uh, Northwest Minnesota's top destination to work, live, and play, and shop. We advocate that all in we advocate in all that we do and we support our members by promoting a business climate that enhances economic vitality and improves the quality uh, of life for all the citizens. I'm Michelle Landsberg, Executive Director of Advanced Thief River, and our purpose is to grow the area economy. And really that includes all of Pennington County and even beyond that. Uh, because Thief River Falls is really a regional hub that uh, it's, it's, a, it's an economic uh, center for Northwest Minnesota. So the economy relates really beyond what we would consider the typical uh, boundary of the county, but um, certainly it includes all of Pennington County. And how do we grow uh, the area economy? Uh, we focus in three different areas and that is business retention, expansion and attraction. And when we look at retention, expansion and attraction, it's very multifaceted. And uh, we'll maybe touch on some of those in a little bit more detail. But the other piece that really isn't uh, evident in those three is uh, supporting business startups. So those kind of those four areas. Perfect. Uh, what is, what do you love about your work? Vanessa, you wanna start this one? Uh, what I love working, uh, for the chamber is just I get the opportunity to work with businesses and learn about their unique um, business and how they grow and get involved in the community and to help improve the Thief River. Good. Michelle? Oh, I absolutely love what I do. Um, this, my, uh, my work here is so much fun, I have to say. Um, I, it, uh, Economic development, I would say, is hardwired into my DNA. <laughs> it's really who I am. Uh, I, even from, you know, even as a child, uh, the whole idea of entrepreneurship, making money, creating wealth, um, you know, it started way back uh, even as a child. And now, uh, as I've gone, you know, into the different phases of my life, uh, I've been working in the area of economic development uh, for over 20 years. And, um, I just love uh, the uh, opportunity to help businesses thrive. Uh, businesses are the uh, foundation of our community, and as our businesses thrive, so does our community. Um, but it, there's there's many many aspects to businesses thriving. Mm -hmm. uh, many many aspects to that. So um, so I get to be involved in a lot of different things. Right. Um, but. Um, I love to see rural areas thrive. I'm a longtime resident of Northwest Minnesota. I was born here, I'll probably die here, I'm married to a farmer. Um, so this is my home. Uh, this is the place I love. I want to see this place be successful. And I will, I will say Thief River Falls is an amazing community. It's a community that I've always admired and it's been just a thrill working with uh, this community since the spring of 2018. Nice. Amanda? Well, I would probably echo what Michelle said is, um, my job is fun. I'm marketing Thief River Falls as a tourist destination, a place to have your events, a place to, to get away and have fun. So my business is fun, uh, sharing about the, the things that there are to do here. Um, and I think overall, like it seems our society is just so divided. But I'm just saying, you know, come visit Thief River Falls. There's so much to do here. We have uh, a lot of outdoor activities that are so fun. 
a lot of dining and shopping that's fun. So, um, um, so I, I, I would say, um, you know, who would really have a problem with that? You know, everybody, there's, there's no confrontation, there's no division. And that's actually something I'm very thankful of for the people in Thief River Falls. Um, it seems that the community is so inviting to the visitors, so that makes my job even easier. Right. That's good. So we're almost out of 2022. What do you guys have planned? What are your priorities for 2023? Michelle, want to start? Well, uh, we've got a lot of uh, great stuff in the pipeline for 2023, and um, this kind of helps to illustrate a little bit of what we do. Um, and I should just mention, people uh, if people want to know more about what Advanced Thief River does, they should go to our website, advancedthiefriver.com, because there's a lot of information mm -hmm. there. We get involved in a lot of different things. But uh, for 2023, uh, we are launching a new resident retention and recruitment program called Join Us Thief River. And um, we need more people to call Thief River Falls home. We do. We need more people to live here. Um, if our businesses are going to thrive, if they're going to have uh, the employees to fill their open positions, uh, we need more people. We need more people in the pool. We don't just want to keep moving people from one uh, employer to another, but right. we want more people here. So uh, this is something that was born out of our uh, talent task force which we've uh, coordinated the last couple of years, um, the idea of resident recruitment. Uh, it's multifaceted, but stay tuned. You'll be seeing a lot coming out about that. We've really released nothing about it publicly. So if, if this is the first you've heard of it, don't be surprised. Um, it's going to be uh, public uh, in January. And uh, we're also uh, just kicking off a new strategic supply plan for childcare. This is another area uh, we know we need to address uh, the childcare needs of this community. Again, uh, it is a workforce related issue. Uh, if people can't get childcare, they can't fully engage in the workforce. Right. So um, we have uh, four teams, four goals. Um, my friend Vanessa here, <laughs> I recruited her to, to be on uh, my team. Um, and I'm also coordinating all four teams. So. Um, we're, we're excited about that work. Can we fully fix the situation? You know, that's gonna to be tough, but can we move the needle forward? I'm, I'm hopeful that we, that we will. And then we're also, as we continue, uh, this is an ongoing thing, we, we continue to try to recruit uh, businesses to come to the community. Right now we've got three different companies that we are working on recruiting, and each one is very exciting. I, this is the kind of work that goes on behind the scenes that I really can't talk about publicly. Right. And people don't know about it, but um, there's a lot of work going on there, and we've got three that are, we're kind of working on right now. Okay. How about you, Amanda? Well, primarily, my main focus um, has to be to keep the hotels full. I am funded with the 3% lodging tax that the visitors pay when they stay at the hotels. Uh, so that is my funding source and my primary objective is to keep our hotels filled. Uh, secondarily, I want to continue to increase our catalog of photos and videos just so we can show people uh, what there is to do here. Uh, the fun things to do, uh, our meeting spaces even, I would like to bring in more conventions and meetings into town. Um, those would help fill up the hotels of course. And then um, in the end, I want to continue to strive to market the Forever Falls as a regional hub for all of the, the people that come up to Northwestern Minnesota. We've got government workers, we've got truckers, uh, we've got tourists, of course, and just people just traveling through the area. We want them to know that when you're traveling up in Northwestern Minnesota, that we want you to stay in Thiever Falls. Good. Vanessa? Um, as the new director, one of my priorities for 2023 is to get to know, get out there and get to know all my chamber members, which there are a lot so I will be busy with that. Um, I also want to be more involved in the community and just kind of help the Thief River Falls Chamber grow, you know, get better benefits for our members and just, just help our businesses. Wonderful. Um, so the three of you, although you do very different things, you also collaborate some with things that you're doing. Do you guys want to talk about kind of the importance of collaboration and how that helps you um, to obtain your goals? and you can just talk freely. 
I think collaboration is so important just because we all have different set like of ideas and skills and just resources that we can just help each other out and we can strengthen each other's program. Um, and especially because with us three, our programs kind of intertwine together. And so we all have an important role in the community in a, like a very specific mission, but after all, like that mission is to make Thief River Falls like a better place for people to live, um, to work, and just, just to come to, you right. know. So I, I don't know, that's why I think. Okay. And I'll, I'll just kind of second that. Um, collaboration is so, so important, especially um, in rural areas where resources may be uh, fewer. Mm -hmm. um, the, the ability to work together to contribute our, our time and talents and resources toward a common goal is very important. And we're all funded a little bit differently, so um, with, with those, with that funding, there's certain restrictions sometimes that come. And so uh, we each can, you know, uh, step up to the plate maybe in a little different way, depending on the mandates that come with, with our funding. Right. Um, I can provide a couple of examples of things that we have done together. Um, Amanda and Vanessa are newer in their positions, um, having come in 2022, right? Yep. Yeah. And so um, I started in the spring of 2018, uh, so with the former uh, Visit Thief River Falls director and the chamber director, uh, one of the things we did during was during COVID. And, um, you know, that was devastating, as we all know. You know, March it came and, you know, shelter in place and all of that. and. And I'm thinking, okay, what, what can we do to support our business community? And so I'm thinking about this, I'm pacing around, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, why don't we get people together on Zoom, mm -hmm. you know, and have some weekly um, sessions, you know, that, that we can bring in some speakers, some support, some advice, some tips, some experts, whatever, to, to kind of um, create this network of, of local businesses. So I reached out. Uh, reached out to the chamber director at that time, and that was Antonio at that time, and Laura Stingram at Visit the Fur Vols, and I said, hey, what about this? Can we, is this something you guys would want to partner on? And they both said yes. And so all three organizations then took turns, responsibility for sharing, you know, finding speakers and, and so forth. And so uh, we, we worked together to, to deliver those. And I think we did it for three months every week and uh, those were all recorded and so they, you know, actually they're still out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some good stuff in there. But I think that that was valuable. That did provide, that did provide value, not only in the information we shared, but just bringing people together. So that was just, that's just one example. Uh, another thing we did was um, a little marketing campaign for service businesses. I think that was something Laura brought um, as an idea. Um, service with a smile. And um, so we had videos that we created, uh, different businesses, um, an employee saying, this is why, what I love about my job. So we were just kind of trying to highlight, you know, the, the work uh, and being an, an employee in a service business, which during COVID, that was tough. It was really tough. Um, so those are just a couple examples. Um, another example, which I already touched on was uh, Vanessa being involved with the with the child care uh, strate strategic supply plan uh, goal one work. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be doing a public uh, communications campaign. Vanessa's very good at that. She's very good at communications. So um, we'll be working together on getting the word out in the community about why this is a great business. Um, hoping to get people interested in starting a child care business. Right. Well, um, there is overlap on the edges of the missions of the three organizations. Um, so I overlap with Advanced Thief River because they say that tourism marketing is kind of like the first date to economic development. So people aren't going to uh, start a business here or move here and work here until they first visit. Yep. So that is the first step. We need to get them to visit. And then Michelle would take it from there. And then, of course, uh, my hotels are chamber members, and the chamber offer, offers business support to these uh, hotels. And then there's a clear impact on Thief River Falls businesses when the visitors stay, shop, and dine here. 
So for every dollar that I spend on marketing Thief River Falls as a tourist destination, the visitors spend $9 in our local businesses, which obviously impacts mm -hmm. uh, business growth in Thief River Falls, but obviously economic development as well. So mm -hmm. uh, there, there is a lot of uh, overlapping and uh, complementing each other. I'll just add to, uh, we actually have a matrix yes. <laughs> that we've all looked at and agreed on. And we, we, uh, we worked on this actually early in 2018. It was at the suggestion of Mayor Homer. He said, you know, I want to make sure, you know, because Advanced Deep River at that time had a new uh, strategic plan. And he said, I just want to make sure, you know, we're going to support this work, but I want to make sure that everybody has a clear lane. You know, right. that we know this is what this entity is doing, this one is doing this, this one's doing this, this is where we support each other, this is where we're taking a lead. So we worked on this actually in the spring of 2018 and we've updated it a couple of times. And um, we'll probably put this someplace online sure. so people can see it. But, you know, it's looking at, okay, you know, who's, you know, in business recruitment, who's doing what? Who's doing which role? Uh, in business retention and expansion, who's involved? And, you know, there's, you can probably see there's a lot of different areas. Yep. Um, and we each play a vital role um, in specific, unique areas. And then there's some where there is, you know, as, as Amanda said, there is a little overlap. But usually one is taking the lead and the other one or two are supporting. Mm -hmm. So it, it really is a great working model and it's been going very well the last four years, right. I will say. It's, it's, been, it's been very good. Good. Well, I really like how Amanda said that, um, you know, you get them to town. You get them to come here. You get them to see what an awesome place this is. And then you get to help them. You get to help them start their business mm -hmm. um, and get it in Thief River. You have so many resources um, as far as even places for them to put their business once they get here or if they're going to be home-based or if mm -hmm. they're going to have a storefront. And then once they are business running, then you get to take over. You know, you can really see how the three of you um, kind of bounce off each other, like mm -hmm. you said, interweave each other. Um, and, it, and it's really important for us to work together. It is. You know, so that, that's, that's one of the things that I also enjoy about, you know, my job is that I get to work with different people and we all have the same mission and we help that mission right. together. Right. So um, you each have your own board as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you're not just kind of flying off the seat of your pants with what you do, right? <laughs> right. No. Um, do you want to kind of talk about, and this wasn't a question we prepared, but I just kind of thought of it, that do you want to kind of talk about um, what your board does for you and, you know, that you have support? Because it's people from throughout the community. It's not, you know, um, I don't know how many are on each board, but, um, you know, for the chamber at least, I can, I, I'm on that board. Um, and... I just know how important it is for you to have that support and for you to have that guidance. Um, so do you guys kind of want to talk about that a little bit and what your board provides for you or maybe, um, you know, who was on your board? You don't have to say names, but, you know, different people from the community or how they got on your board or kind of how that works. Well, I think back in, from what I've read from the history of Visit Deeper Falls is we were part of the chamber mm -hmm. up until 2006. Oh. And so and, um, I think that things must have been working fine, maybe when Thief River Falls was smaller. Mm -hmm. And it has really exploded since 2006. So the previous chamber directors pr prior to 2006 had two different boards, two different missions, and two different budgets that one person had to do. Wow. And it was it just got to a point where it was near impossible. Uh, so 2006, uh, the Convention of Visitors Bureau broke from the chamber and we uh, organized and passed our own bylaws. We have a 13-member uh, board of directors. We meet once a month and I present my ideas to them. And it's valuable to have them because some of those members have been on the board since 2006. Mm -hmm. So there's a historical understanding of maybe things that worked in the past and don't work anymore. Um, or just the evolution of how things have gotten more digital since then. Um, so I have to truly sell my ideas to them. And if it's not really in my lane, then they'll say, you know, we should probably table this and, 
and consider you know maybe something else where it's going to really get hotels filled. So my board is um, has to have three members coming from the hotels, mm -hmm. um, a member from the city, and then the rest are predominantly businesses that do get impacted when um, visitors stay. They they impact that business. So. Okay. Um, they're a great board, they're great to work with, and again, it's it's great that we're just focused on how we're going to get people to, to come here and stay here. Right. Um, I have nine board members, and pretty much all the board members are business owners. Um, they are, I, I always bug them, I say, but um, they're really great because, you know, I can say, hey, this is, this is my idea, what do you guys think? I also have an executive board, um, and those are the people that I really bug. Um, but when I need a decision made or something like that, but they're always, you know, supporting me and just, they, they want to see the chamber grow. And so they're very involved and just, we just work good together. And I think another thing that people should know is that like we are part of each other's board meetings, mm -hmm. you know, so we attend each other's board meetings. So we always know what's going on with all of our entities. So that, that's part of my board. Yeah. Um, I brag on my board all the time. <laughs> they are fantastic. Um, not that my board is better than your boards, <laughs> but I, I, you know, I, my board is just, they've, they've, they've been, uh, they've meant the world to me. Um, we have a 10 member board uh, and uh, several ex officios that are also part of our, our meetings and our conversation and our leadership. Um, Advanced Thief River was uh, actually Thief River Falls Jobs Incorporated, uh, started in 1955, so a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Long history in this community. Uh, originally, the, the focus was really on creating jobs, and that was, I would say, the sole focus. And very effective. Look at the jobs that have been created in this community. I mean, uh, it, and, and there's been uh, many businesses that have been saved and retained in the community over the years through the work of Thief River Falls Jobs Incorporated. Now back, this is too much history, um, back in the fall of 2017, outgoing board president, end of his term, Jim Dagg said, you know, he called me up and he said, I wasn't involved at that time, he said, Michelle, we need, an, uh, I'd like to, I'd like a new strategic plan for this organization. I'm leaving as president, Rick Tronfitt's coming in as president, and I want to leave this organization in good shape, in a good position when he comes in. And uh, so I helped the, the board at that time with a new strategic plan. Well, we presented it at the annual meeting in 2018, and Rick Tronfitt came up to me after the meeting and he said, hey, uh, Michelle, we really like working with you on the strategic plan we just contract you to, to lead this work going forward? And um, honestly, I had uh, such a great experience working with them on that strategic plan. It was an easy decision for me to say, yes, I, I would like to do that. And so at that point then, we, um, with Rick's leadership and good suggestion, he said, let's, let's ask the county and the city to come in with us and share the, the cost of this work in thirds. And that has been going ever since. Um, and uh, so we, we started that new strategic plan, which really expanded uh, the work and the priorities of the organization. Um, and it took it from not just looking at creating jobs, but more just of a broad economic development focus and, and all of the things that are involved in that. Um, at that point, there was nobody else doing those things. Right. So there really was a void, and we stepped in and um, the board has, um, they are business owners, leaders, presidents uh, of their companies. Uh, they are passionate about this community. Uh, I cannot believe how passionate they are. Uh, they are, um, they're all in. They roll up their sleeves. They want to get involved. Um, they're working behind the scenes. Uh, it's, it's just a fantastic board. I'm very professional. I, I count it a privilege and an honor to work with every one of them. Well, I think that we'll probably wrap it up. Um, if anybody has any questions um, or concerns um, or needs, um, how do they get a hold of you? I mean, 
Um, well, the website is visittrf.com. I'm also on social media. Um, my phone number is on the website as well. Give me a call. I'm open to emails, phone calls, however you want to talk. Um, you can give me a call and set up an appointment. Come visit with me. That's fine. I'm open to anyone. Wonderful. Uh, we are also, uh, you can go to our uh, chamber website, trfchamber.com. Um, you can always call me, email me, like Amanda said, or come, just stop in and come visit. Um, and yeah, I'm here all the time. And you two share, share not an office, but you share a building. Building, yeah, yeah. we're at the Carnegie or Old Library, I guess. Come check out the building. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool building. Beautiful. And I'm virtual. I'm in town. I'm in town uh, usually a couple days every week. Uh, but in between times, I'm very accessible via phone or email. Uh, my phone number, 218-280-1755. You can call or text. Uh, that number is also on our website, advancedthiefriver.com, uh, as well as a, a link to email me. So um, I would welcome any question, any inquiry, uh, I also love to have suggestions from the community. So if somebody is out there saying, oh, we need this, or why don't you do something like this? I want to hear that. Mm -hmm. uh, I welcome that. That's what makes, uh, that's what makes our work really hum. So um, I, I would welcome those. I think we all do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you, ladies, for having this conversation with us. And hopefully that cleared up any questions that people might have. But if not, get a hold of the ladies, and they'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you, Angie. Thank you. Thank you.